sort of looking forward in terms of the field, um, what do you see are some of the um, emerging uh, areas in the area of, of sex therapy that um, we need more exploration, for which we need more research to be able to understand better and intervene with, if necessary, better um, that you see that are um, uh, very interesting uh, in the field? Yeah. So one area that I think is really emerging is this idea of sexual fluidity or um, how people can change their orientation over time. And there's uh, research about women uh, and sort of how they may experiment sexually, same sex, um, maybe in their early years or sometimes later in life, they decide that they really want to experiment or be in a same-sex relationship. Um, and it seems to be more um, accepted in a way that women would be fluid with their orientation. But what about men? Mm -hmm. you know, and, and this idea that maybe men also could have sexual fluidity mm -hmm. and uh, you know that we really have more range in terms of our preferences mm -hmm. and sexual partner. Mm -hmm. I think that's a really interesting topic. Yeah, 